Alright. Atlantean Band, Warden Band. Dude, I feel like this has been the bands for like so many games that I've played recently. Uh, we could try Scarlet Hunt just because I never have gotten to try here yet. Might as well. I'm not a huge fan of the other ones. Countess. These units just pigeonhole into one only build. Okay, we got a six man lobby here. That's good. Jackie Chain, we know him. I don't really remember. I haven't seen a lot of these other ones. Uh, just take the Bloodsucker, I guess. Probably the Fire Elemental is better. So we attack back to front. Actually, wait. This is horrible with Scarlet Huntress. Why did I do that? Well, it won't matter. We'll just transition to hopefully not using that unit. But yeah, that was incredibly dumb. I don't think we could have picked the worst unit there. <laughs> Jesus. Yikes. Uh, at least we got that. Um, we can go like... This? This is so strange. So the way this works is I'm going to attack reverse order, which I feel could be pretty good for ranged. So maybe with an Atlantean ban, that's not the greatest idea though, because the best range in the game arguably is Atlantean Serpentina, but we could still get the Mind Flare or whatever. Of course you got the best attack possible, and went first, but whatever. That guy is a bot, so... We could purchase, purchase, and... Hold. Just because there is that free mana. This suck that keeps giving us shade. Shade is so bad. There's kind of an interesting build here. It's like I'm able to guarantee that my vamps get off at least. They just may not actually do anything that useful if the units are up here are dying. But at least, yeah, the bloodsucker is guaranteed. Bloods I, I wish we would have took the bloodsucker over the fire elemental. I'd have doubles right now and it'd be at like 8 damage, which would be great. So, definitely fucked up there. Can't really blame me though, it's my first time playing this champ, so I gotta learn the ins and outs. I've noticed not many people even try this. Everyone's tryharding right now to try to make the tournament. Can't really blame them. I mean, I kinda am too, but at the end of the day, I'd rather... Ooh, Clan Lord would be really good too. We'll take it here, let's do this. Executioner's Axe to get scaling seems good to me. Clan Lord could really pop off, I feel, with this. That's definitely not worth holding. Tango is just horrible. Tango is so bad. But yeah, we get those going, then this guy. He'll even get. This is pretty good. I'll get four extra health. These guys die, like I could actually scale out Clan Lord quite well. Yikes. Really? So not only does he win the 50 50, he wins another 50 50. Fucking stupid. So annoying. Alright, at least we got that. Uh, small units plus... This is a really good spell, but... And honestly, I'm probably gonna keep vampling for a while in this deck. I could just take this instead of re-rolling. Guarantee me some value, especially since I am kind of weak right now. I'm not gonna hold for a double on a tier 1 unit. 
We want to triple this clan ward if we can. Although it's okay that he's separated right now because, quite honestly, uh, he'll scale more this way, potentially. And then when I combine him, he'll just get that combined scaling. Should be getting a slay. I guess there's a one out of three that we didn't get a slay there, though. Guaranteed slay. This is definitely looking like we can farm some slays here, which is great. Not if he attacks literally there. Well, I guess he could attack either left or right there, or left or mid there. Pretty good, though. We got a lot of slays there. I don't like this hero, by the way. Um, I guess it's okay at the start if you get like a summon in the first slot. These are horrible, so I'm gonna skip them. Could get a tier 1 treasure here, I just don't know if it's worth it. It's probably worth it. Death's Contract would be good, I think. Should have just bought the haste. I don't know why I didn't do that there. Alright, well that's worth... I'm going into a new level, but I'll definitely level up the clan lord. And potentially get a force multiplier. Would be great. here, but uh, I farmed on that clan lord. That was great. Uh, Arcane Offering could potentially end up being good. I don't really see the others being great. We could take an Owl Trap, but I think there's just more upside with that. I could take another clan lord, honestly. I mean, there's a rat in the game. Atlantean is banned, so we can't get a shark anyway. I'm open to this. Unholy Warrior is probably worth locking for. It will be a little awkward figuring out where we put it. I mean, I don't technically really have to have this Vampling in. It's only... F the 4 health becomes irrelevant pretty quick, and I'd rather just get extra scaling on these Clan Lords. But for now, this should be fine. We really need to get a better unit there. I mean, our front line is pretty sad. Get some dedicated tanks would be great. If we can get, like, Buscation or whatever. Oh, that was a good breakpoint for him. Good breakpoint for me, too, though, so right back at you. Alright, we lose that 50 50. Sucks. But we'll get another farm here. Oh, actually, damn, he lived. This thing, we could get another kill. Alright, we're going to take you... We could put him up there just to, uh, to die. Every now and then. It's probably fine. Um, you know, get the Death's Contract. Should probably take a Knowledge Fiend, though. That would be a really good tank, probably. Um... I don't think this is particularly worth keeping in. Yeah, we'll go like this, I think. You know, I don't know. I think I, it's a bot. I can probably get a slay here.
So what are we looking for? We're looking for ranged units. Um, we're looking for Flamber, for sure. Flamber, ranged units. Um, more Unholy Knight, I guess. I th think we can get a slay. Nope. Oh, I might. Okay, we got a slay. That's good. Not sure why I didn't take any damage there. That was weird. I should have taken damage there. Would we want to triple this other one? I believe so. We still want to find Force Multiplier, I'm pretty sure. That is a Hellfire Cannon. How am I going to scale it, though? I need the Flamber first before committing to that. Not interested in Tier 1 Treasures. Interested in a Flamber is what I'm interested in. Or an Unholy Knight will also suffice. Suffice it to say, an Unholy Knight will be acceptable. Yeah, that'll work. Void Blade could be okay, actually. Like, I could sell, sell these. Um, I would like this to get Death's Contract. The thing is, like, yeah, I'm not going to sell all these for it. But there is definitely a world where the Void Blade could make sense. Well, so far, Scarlet Huntress is pretty fun. I mean, I'm doing pretty well in a lobby full of mainly humans. As I say that, I go right into a bot. It's okay that that died first, I suppose. I mean, it, either that or the Knowledge Fiend. The thing with the Knowledge Fiend is we really want to get some initial health on it, or else it's hard countered by Combust. But if I can get more health than Combust does, then I'm good. I, if I see a health spell, I should also cast it on it. I'm certain that Knowledge Fiend should be in. Alright, we were able to farm pretty well there. By a second knowledge fiend? I think so. Um, don't think a blood mage makes any sense. Alright, we can triple that. Weir beast? So the links have meant nothing. Why don't we just. Oh, I could upgrade a unit. Yeah, this upgrade probably doesn't end up being good. I think I. What if we did ambush tactics? That opens up stealth. Yeah, let's just take the evolution for now. Should I sell for this weird beast, I wonder? Against rats, these knowledge fiends probably aren't good. We could maybe just put the uh, weird beast in. Let's do that. Put him like right there. I wonder if I should put the Weir Beast in back. Nah, he wouldn't be able to slay 50% of these. I do like getting the 4 health to everything still. I don't know though. It's getting to the point where it's not like necessarily that useful. I don't know if we'll be able to beat this. Um, this clan leader's had his work cut out for him. Yeah, if he's gonna get frickin' ranged attacked. Jesus, fucking rats, man. You think Clan Leader would counter it, it just doesn't. Rats are stu just beyond stupid. Forsaken Knight could be alright. Let's go like this. I think it's past time that uh, this Vamp Lord is useful to us. Those are typically going to be where they'd put a powerful unit. Um, is a Forsaken Knight good? I think that likely could be. But I think we can do better.
Alright, we'll sell for that. I could hold for the barrier as well. Chillistic artifact and eh, strength in numbers. Let's just do this. A Kraken. Something like that, I think. Should put the Weird Beast on the far right. God, we really need a Flamber. I haven't seen a single one. Okay, we got a Slay here. Of course, yeah, it's alright. Probably want to go like that. He's in the middle though, so he takes what, 12 damage? Is this worth casting? I don't think so. Okay, we finally found a Flamber. I can afford. Th there's a stealth spell as well. Alright, Flamber. They want to go. Here, I think. We want to get the Kraken. Definitely some stats. Um, do I hold that? I think so. It's probably worth putting. S no, it's not. I, I need. I need the treasure chest first before I do that shit. All right, he's using that. Okay. Got a slay and I survived. There's at least that. That's good. That's bad. That's okay, I guess. I mean, there's not much I can do here. Maybe. Maybe I can just keep farming this. Had to go left there. At least I got a lot of stats on it. But uh yeah, taking all this damage sucks. It's definitely gonna be me versus well, we'll see. This MOTF guy might have a good build build too. If I do this, I double dip so that I eventually get the Kraken to pretty good health. I think it's worth it there, plus it's a little bit of health on the Weir Beast. Why don't we oh damn. I could buy this then and lock for it. These guys didn't end up with much stats. Uh, I could sell one of them. There, it's too late to really use them. We commit to not having this. Just do that. That way I get two more slots next turn, but I definitely want to hold for the invulnerability. It's probably going to face me against a bot, though. I think it's going to face me against the Ratch. I, I don't know. It's hard to say how the ordering works. If we're just ordered by health, I think. So I don't know. We don't know who we fight next. Could be a bot, could be a human. Probably worth this though, because if I can put the bar the barrier on this clan lord, is just gigantically good. So far these knowledge fiends are not hitting on anything. You could always take them out. I mean, if none of the builds are gonna lend themselves to being useful to them. The only one it doesn't slay. God damn it. Alright, that's a good one though. And the only one it doesn't backline kill. Clan Lord putting in work though. Definitely getting his farm worth. Of course, he kills the one that would save him a health. I need to not watch these battles, honestly. They've been going, like, I've had some real fucking horrible ones lately. Definitely want to get this guy upgraded. Uh, against a bot, we should just go like that, actually. Um, 
God, of course this gets frozen against a bot. Well, whatever. I'll just, uh... Okay, I'll take that. Helmet of the Abyss, since... I mean, Bombs Away technically works on him. Helmet of the Abyss is not currently that good, but I could move Weird Beast up front and stuff. I don't know. I think Helmet of the Abyss is the only one that does anything for me. We can try to find some proper frontliners. I guess without Atlantean, though, there's no Bestation. It's really annoying. Whatever. Um, yeah, we'll try to get these. Could lock for that. I mean, Right now I'm still in range at 12. If I can't get the triple and the Kraken, I'm susceptible to that one middle damage spell thing. I hope these Flambers fucking die. God damn it. Stop targeting literally the worst of the four targets for me. Just over and over again. Three, three one out of fours I've just lost there. I'm really not going to lose a Flamber, am I? It's so fucking stupid. Like, god damn it, dude. They have, like, no health. They just keep hitting the Unholy Warrior over and over again. Okay, that's good. Uh, Frosted Axe is unfortunately not good. We'll just do the Ritual, then. The Ritual-based one. Um, do we take another Kraken Hunter? I kind of want to keep these in just to scale them. Knowledge Fiend currently sucks, anyway. Uh, we can do that. Could actually just put more unholy knights in. Why not? Just scale the shit out of them. Sure, let's do it. Uh, do I lock for another one though? I don't think so. Unfortunately, there's just not too many, um, there's not any spells really that I can use to make Kraken Hunter's damage go up. But as long as these Flambers are dying, that should get us there. So this is just in case he runs a barrier, or a Knowledge Fiend, or a, or a World Eater. For one mana, I thought it was worth it. Alright, none of the above, whatever. Why is he down two units? Is it really that useful to open up slots for that? I guess so. It's gigantic stats. Holy shit. What the fuck? How is he getting so many stats? They're not even upgraded. Oh, linked demons. Jesus. Okay, well, uh, this guy is not going to be able to get beaten. We're going to have to... How are we going to take that out? take an assassin and get an assassin's blade assassin's blade is the five cost treasure what if we should promote a unit I don't know I could promote this I guess okay tank is decent it doesn't make sense in the upcoming fight but So, I don't know, how are we going to beat this guy? This guy might still lose to the rat, and then I just... Hmm. I don't know. This is, like, pretty fucking hard. I think we're going to have to get... The... Six cost assassin. Damn it, there's a promotion. I can't even have time to look at the things. 
whatever. Weird Beast really just isn't that good of a unit, I feel. It, like, it doesn't gain enough. I don't know. I've never had a Weird Beast ever pop off properly. Like, this should be a game where he should technically pop off. Alright, so what did this guy... Why am I fighting this guy again? I never fought the rat guy. Doesn't make any sense. Not gonna buy that. I mean, I don't know how I'm supposed to beat this guy. I need to get, yeah, I just need to find the six cost thing, I guess. The six cost dude. I think his knowledge fiend guy was there. It was right here, right? Uh, another stun might work. I mean, I have the Kraken Hunter, which might work. Maybe Kraken Hunter in slot 1 makes sense. So I can get to the back line. Could lock that. Just take this 6 cost, I guess. Um. I could put that in here instead of the Knowledge Fiend. It's likely he might have shifted his guys around and my Knowledge Fiend just can't hit anyway. Probably better to have this in the Knowledge Fiend. But yeah. He basically has nothing here. Really? He killed a Kraken Hunter? God damn. I mean, what can I even do at that point? So against this guy... I mean, it's smart what he did. He's trying to make it so my Kraken Hunter can't kill the guy in back. If I could double cast the killing spell, though, that would get there. Well, is there anything here that could even save me? If she could get a kill, yeah. We should still go Kraken Hunter there, I feel. Oh, we need the tank for this one. Um, hmm. Something like that. Yeah, whatever. Well, I might be able to get a slay here with the lady. Let's see? We got it. Gives us somewhat of a fighting chance. My tank is popping off right now. Definitely the tank is good against these rats, that's for certain. Alright, we should have this one. But, uh, he's got a lot of health to get through. He also doesn't have Rat Swarm yet. Alright, it's a Bont, so we can go back to something like this. We definitely want to try to get a Slay here. If we can. Something like that. It's 
it's a magical unit, so I could cast that one spell on her. Oh my god. Love those six costs, though. Uh. I don't really need this. Bloodbath, definitely. Okay. I want to get that bloodbath off. I want to get slays. So actually, for this fight, I want to do something like that against the bot. Definitely want them slays. <clears throat> That's a pretty big set of pickups there. Right, should get the slay no matter what. Triple bloodbath will be amazing here. I can probably slot one this unit then for the upcoming fights. Well, not against the demon. We gotta go clan lord against the demon, I think. Landlord can kill that unit. Oh, it's the rat again. Did he kill the demon? Really? Interesting. So I have three spells I can cast. We definitely want to put the tank back in. Maybe for that. Um. We still want the Kraken Hunter in back, right? We should have her here. <laughs> I wonder if I should be trying to get the Weir Beast Slay. I don't know, the, the health up front's pretty good. But if they have the Rat Swarm thing, which they probably have given the... Uh, That'd be interesting. If they had the rat swarm thing, we don't want to do it though. I, I have a, I have a hunch that they do have that. Um, that won't be able to kill anything. Let's do that, I guess. Lock for that. I, I would take a second one of these tanks, honestly. They don't have the rat thing. I'm surprised this beat the other dude's deck. I mean, it beat it, like, handily. Of course, the only one that she won't slay. That's how it fucking goes. Uh, we've got this, I think. I think... I don't know how he can deal with this tank. Especially because I transformed it, so it's upgraded, Aegis Golem. I mean, it's like really good. 12-12 every time it gets attacked. The guys just don't have enough initial big hits. Get some more Bloodbath here. Alright. What, the way he can beat me is by getting the rat swarm thing. So it's not out of the weeds yet. Is this worth it for me to buy? I'm not entirely convinced it is. We don't really need the flam bar, I guess. Oh, that was pretty bad. I don't think it could have been much worse. Okay, that's good there. I would lock for the double play. And we're at 5 health, so the World Eater, I just don't like it. I don't love it. I wonder if we'd be better off doing that. They're always going to attack that.
Oh, that guy dying's huge for me. I got the blood bat. Oh my god, really? I guess there's only one target I could kill there. But yeah, he's... I would throw away the strategic gamble in this deck. I don't think he's gaining much to have... Well, I don't know. He's getting a lot of stats on resummon as well, so... It's not like that out of the question. This guy is carrying this fight. Or this whole game, really. Alright, that'll all be 11. So he's down to the wire here. He's got his chance to find what he needs, but we got double cast of spell to hopefully finish this. Uh, we could double cast that. I don't really know what we're yoloing for there, though. Why don't we just try to finish the fight? Got some more that I can do. You're magical. I don't think that's really all that good. That could be good. And that is the end of our spells to play. Alright, well. Oh, he <laughs> didn't want to watch himself die, I guess. Alright, we got it done. Um, I don't know. Scarlet Huntress, very interesting. Uh, that was fun. I think I would definitely play her again. I don't know if she's necessarily powerful, but definitely fun. And since no one... I mean, maybe people will start playing her eventually, but right now I don't ever see any of the human players play her. So it's like... I can see that they might just not exactly have a good game plan. They'd have to come up with a game plan on the spot because they probably haven't seen it much to like counter what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know. That was a pretty fun one. So where are we at right now on the, the leaderboards? i got to refresh. I'm at number two, but it's not really like I have a big lead. Like, any one of these guys could win a bunch of games and... It's going to be tough to get top four, let's just put it that way. I mean, look at the... Everybody here is really good. Maybe if I... I think if I don't get top four, though, I could try to just get top four in the MMR. It's possible I could push for that. I don't know, though. I'd have to... Up, I'd have to gain around a little over a thousand... No, two thousand MMR. Thousand five hundred MMR. It'd be tough because they're gaining MMR too, right? Like Mongoose. I've seen Excalibur around a lot. But we'll see. I'd really like to play in that tournament if I can. But if not, it's not the end of the world. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.